I brought Omni Man into the WWE. Yeah, this guy's a complete monster, but can he be the monster of WWE and maybe like bash someone's skull in? Before we get involved, we have this incredible wheel here. For Omni Man's career, we're gonna spin this wheel and whatever it lands on is what Omni Man does. So on our first Raw, we spin the wheel and it lands on a mid-card championship, which means that Omni-Man is going to be chasing Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Right off the bat, disaster strikes. Sami Zayn hurts his ribs in a match. Absolutely catastrophic. Maybe, well, luckily for Sami Zayn, he has no serious injuries. It was a close call. Right out of the gate, Omni-Man already destroying shit. Omni-Man dominates the majority of this match, but Sami Zayn gets an opening, he hits a Holuba kick, goes for a cover, Omni-Man kicks out of it, and then he freaking kips up, but Sami locks in the Ko Koji Clutch? Yeah, the Koji Clutch, and makes Omni-Man tap out. Yes, Omni-Man taps out to Sami Zayn in his first match. Wow. After that loss, we move on, we spin the wheel, and a new feud for Omni-Man. And he ends up feuding with CM Punk. Omni-Man tries to attack CM Punk post-match, but it doesn't go well, and Omni-Man just gets beat up and leaves as Punk celebrates. Great writing. Great writing, guys. This sets up their next match. At Night of Champions, CM Punk takes on Omni-Man, as Omni-Man tries to get some momentum back after losing his first match. CM Punk gets a go to sleep. It looks like it's the end, but Omni-Man kicks out. Thank God. It seems like that CM Punk's gonna set Omni-Man in the corner for something, but Omni-Man elbows him in the face and then hits him with a big boot. A boot so devastating that it knocks Punk out. CM Punk gets defeated by Omni-Man. Omni-Man avenges his first loss with a win against CM Punk. On to our next Raw, we spin this wheel and it lands on World Championship match. So Omni-Man is going straight into the main event scene against the current World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Priest. They decide to have a match on Raw because why not? And Omni-Man wins by fucking countout. Let's just go to Money in the Bank, please. So now it's Money in the Bank. Omni-Man challenges Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. Unfortunately, these guys don't know how to climb a ladder, so they just fall off over and over and over again until Omni-Man hits a big-ass Omni-Bomb, climbs the ladder, and grabs the championship finally after like 20 minutes of watching this match. Omni-Man captures his first world championship. Good for him. Oh yeah, we have a Money in the Bank ladder match too, I forgot. We have all eight of these participants. For some reason, Omni-Man's in the ladder match, even though he's champion. In the end, Seth Rollins ends up winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. Could this come back to bite Omni-Man in the ass? Maybe. Alright, it's wheel time. Spin the wheel, and it lands on a new feud. And what better feud to go into than Seth Rollins, who's the current Money in the Bank briefcase holder. After Cody Rhodes and Omni-Man fight on Raw, yeah I know, Cody Rhodes Omni-Man fighting on Raw, giving away a big match here, Hunter. Omni-Man ends up beating Cody Rhodes, and after the match, Seth Rollins comes out and ambushes Omni-Man. For some reason, he calls out a steel cage and it surrounds both guys, but Omni-Man is able to bounce back and throw him against the cage, and that's how Raw ends. But I guess that means we're having a steel cage match at SummerSlam for the World Championship. At SummerSlam, it's Co Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins versus Omni-Man for the World Heavyweight Championship. In the match, Seth Rollins is able to hit the curb stomp and then calls for the door to be open. Looks like that Seth is about to escape, but Omni-Man is back up and he chokes the living crap out of Seth Rollins to the point where he passes out. And Omni-Man defeats Seth Rollins after choking him out with his lifeless body. I wish it was like the uh, in the show where Omni-Man like squished the guy's head or something. No! Back to Raw, spin the wheel time and it lands on special referee. So Omni-Man is not going to be wrestling at the next pay-per-view payback. Instead he will be the special guest referee for the Intercontinental Championship match between Sami Zayn and The Miz. I wonder how this is going to go. It goes as you expect. Omni-Man is still pretty salty about what happened a couple months ago at Backlash, and he does what we expected. The Miz hits a DDT and Omni-Man fast counts Sami Zayn, costing him the Intercontinental Championship. 
So the Miz wins because of Omni Man, and Omni Man after the match completely obliterates Sami Zayn for good measure. Omni Man finally getting his sweet, sweet revenge after being embarrassed in his first match. Long term booking, damn it. We're back on Monday Night Raw. It's time to spin the wheel once again. I know this is really fun. It's better than Universe Mode, that's for damn sure. So we spin it, and it lands on New Feud. And he is now feuding with main event Jay Uso. They have their first encounter on Monday Night Raw, where Omni Man gets a win after Jay Uso misses an elbow drop and Omni Man hits a springboard punch. And this will set up their final match, at least for now. At Fastlane, a last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Main event Jay Uso is looking to ascend to the main event as he takes on Omni Man in a last man standing match. And the two guys gave it everything they had. Back and forth, multiple finishers, just duking it out. But Jay Uso gets the one more spear. And that is enough to keep Omni Man down. Jay Uso defeats Omni Man, ending his championship brain and truly ascending into the main event. After Fastlane, Omni Man gets his rematch for the World Highway Championship on Raw against Jay Uso. And then something unexpected happens. Jay Uso looks like he's about to win the match. And then Invincible, the son of Omni Man, comes out, knees Jay right in the face, and this gives the opportunity for Omni Man to retain his check or reclaim his championship. And Omni Man is now the World Heavyweight Champion as Jey Uso held the belt for like, as Jey Uso held the championship for like two days. Something interesting is happening though. The next pay per view is the Survivor Series, meaning we have a War Games match. Both Main Event Jey Uso and Omni Man are, are building up their teams. Jey Uso is able to gather Sami Zayn, the guy who was screwed out of his championship, the former World Champion Damian Priest, and CM Punk all aligned together to take on Omni Man's team. With, of course, the first member of Omni-Man's team being Invincible. And, uh, well, a lot of people don't like Omni-Man, so... It kind of took some time to find two other guys who would join up with these guys. But it ended up being Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium. Ended up joining Omni-Man and Invincible to create this War Games match. And just like any War Games match, the match is just full-on chaos. Fighting everywhere, two rings, weapons, all you can think of in a War Games match. The match ends when Omni Man goes to fight Jey Uso in one of the rings and boots him right in the face, goes for a cover, and pins him for the three. Omni Man and his team end up defeating the rivals of Omni Man. And he finally gets his revenge on Jey Uso, hopefully ending this feud once and for all. Back to our wheel, we spin it to see what fate Omni-Man will take on, and it ends up landing on switching brands, meaning Omni-Man is now a SmackDown superstar. Now of course, as the World Heavyweight Champion, he decides not to vacate the title because he's like, that doesn't work for me, brother. And Omni-Man, of course, because he's on top of the world, and he's Omni-Man, he goes for the WWE Championship, currently held by LA Knight. However, in order for Omni-Man to get the title shot, he has to beat LA Knight. And that's what he ends up doing. He defeats LA Knight on SmackDown, and Omni-Man becomes a number one pretender. LA Knight is so upset about this that he beats up the poor referee. I don't know what he did to deserve that, but, you know, LA Knight and Omni-Man decide to make this match a double title match. Title for title, winner take all. So, the Royal Rumble, it's champion versus champion with all the gold on the line. And despite LA Knight trying his damnedest to stop this monster of Omni-Man, in the end, he falls to Omni-Man. Omni-Man gets him in a chokehold and chokes the life out of LA Knight to the point where he passes out. And Omni-Man becomes the double world champion. Pretty good comeback from the beginning of the year, right? So, with both world titles on his shoulders, now he tries to go after even more gold. We spin the wheel and it ends up landing on the mid-card title, which means that Omni-Man is going to go into the Elimination Chamber as a double world champion to challenge for the United States Championship, which I believe is held by Karrion Cross. The other participants, Logan Paul, unfortunately, Sheamus, Ricochet, and Omos. I know, what a chamber. Omni-Man has to start out first in this match, and... And despite him going through the ringer, making it to the final three, eventually he falls to Ricochet, who is able to eliminate the big man himself, and Ricochet wins the United States Championship. 
great. I guess that means he's going to leave with the belt now, isn't he? He's going to take it to AEW and put it in the trash can. But now we're reaching the end game, WrestleMania time. We need a new number one contender to fight Omni Man for the WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston won the Royal Rumble and is guaranteed a title match against Omni Man for this World Heavyweight Championship, which means the Battle Royal will determine who fights Omni Man for the WWE title. These are the eight participants. Yeah, for some reason, Mr. Beast is here. Just don't ask. Just the match comes down to the final two Cody Rhodes and LA Knight. LA Knight is able to best Cody Rhodes and dump him out of the match. And LA Knight is getting his rematch for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 40. Night 1 of WrestleMania, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Omni Man defends against the Royal Rumble winner Kofi Kingston. After a really frustrating match because the guys could have climbed the ladder and got the belt, but they decided not to, it finally came down to the final fight. Omni Man looks like he's going to take the belt down, and, but Kofi is able to get back up, and the final showdown begins. Omni Man is looking to superplex Kofi off the ladder but Kofi is able to fight out of it and then just drop him down with the front suplex this gives Cody Cody Kofi enough time grab the championship and Kofi Kingston of all people is able to take away the world heavyweight championship once again night two at WrestleMania the WWE championship Omni man is down a belt but he still has the WWE title so he defends against LA Knight in a last man standing match and with Omni-Man's track record of last man standing matches, this doesn't bode well for him. Although, to be fair, he's only had one, so, you know, it could have just been a fluke. LA Knight threw everything he had at, at Omni-Man, trying to defeat him and take back the championship he lost months prior. But in the end, Omni-Man grabs him in that chokehold and chokes the life out of Omni-Man, Omni-Man, LA Knight, to the point where LA Knight stays down for the 10 count. Omni-Man retains the WWE Championship in the main event of WrestleMania 40. It's over. Like, there's no plot twist. Oh, wait. There is a plot twist. After the match, Invincible comes out and says, When I came here, I was guaranteed one thing. If I won the War Games match, I get a title shot. So I'm cashing in the WWE Championship match against you right now. So now Omni-Man, after winning a last man standing match, has got to go through another trial to keep his title by defeating his own son. Now the true main event of WrestleMania, it's father versus son, Omni-Man versus Invincible for the WWE Championship that ends up being an ambulance match. One of these guys is going to go into a body bag, never to be seen again. Um, and despite Invincible putting up a hell of a fight, he's Omni-Man's just way too much for him. And one big clothesline from Omni-Man takes out Invincible. Omni-Man picks him up, darts him straight into the ambulance, and closes the lid. Omni-Man retains the WWE Championship once again, winning two matches back-to-back. -back. Despite the, uh, the L he took from the previous night, this definitely made up for it. And Omni-Man is flexing his dominance against the entire roster. Hopefully, no one ends up dead because of it, but that's for story for another day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.